There will come a time, France and Germany, when you won't be able to opt out from war. Don't you think all of us are scared about war and what war is going to happen in across the world or probably more places that we don't know about? And you'd, you'd like Spain, you'd, you want to avoid war, but sometimes you try and avoid something and it comes after you. Eventually, Russia will make you fight against them, like or lump it, as one would say. And you just want to not get involved. Sometimes you don't want to get involved. I can understand that. None of us do, but we get forced to. So there will be a time, and you could not put your troops on the ground in Ukraine, Germany and France. Uh, England's already gone to Ukraine. England's already gone to uh, Poland. 20,000 20, troops are already there, just in case something kicks off. I think America's there and many other countries um, already there with NATO. But you don't want to send your troops there, fine. But don't expect that something will happen eventually. It may do, it may not. And uh, Russia ain't going to just stop in Ukraine. They're going to go to other places. I don't know where else, probably the UK. The UK are very worried about uh, getting attacked or probably bombed or something. Or You know, um, it's going to happen, like it or not. You can just keep hiding and uh, wishing that you can avoid war when you're not going to avoid it. It would be nice if you could, but uh, no, it doesn't work like that. Some people just want the war and people want the peace. I can understand that, but uh, you're going to have to put troops in Ukraine eventually or Putin will just start blowing up everywhere in France and Germany and Poland. That's why they're worried. That's why they're sending them troops from the UK. 20,000 plus the vehicles. Uh, extra support in NATO and uh, if Donald Trump gets in then it could be World War 3 it could be uh, kicking off and he will send the uh, Russian troops to NATO so if Joe Biden stays in then that way uh, probably I don't know um, it keep blowing up the Russians with the American well you know the American volunteers in Ukraine I mean there's probably more volunteers that are actually in Ukraine as well, like British people and stuff. But who knows what the future holds. It could get worse, it could get better. But all I'm saying is, just be prepared, get ready. You never know what's going to happen around the corner. So, France and Germany, stop hiding and be a man or a woman or whatever else and get ready and prepared. No one wants this, but we get forced to in these problems we don't want to be getting into. So yeah, that's all I could say in this video. Thank you for joining me and tell me what you think about this. Peace.